The development process for the uh, total cover spray arm was approximately three years. This entailed for us a very intricate gear train uh, that needed to be studied prior to launch. We enabled a uh, what we call a frame slider that actually allows nozzles to turn on and off during operation. The total coverage spray arm accomplishes uh, the increased uh, spray pattern by utilizing 21 nozzles instead of the standard 10 nozzles that you'll find on a standard arm today. There was a lot of rigor put into the gear train. Uh, that's sort of the heart and soul of the, the total coverage spray arm. Uh, we did extensive reliability as in uh, accelerated life testing to ensure that we would continue uh, Whirlpool's great tradition of 19 years of best product service uh, going forward. One of the advantages of having multiple nozzles in multiple locations, in essence, what I've told people in the past is, for me, that translates to every load, every dish, everywhere, and every time. With the total coverage spray arm, it, it was about achieving that total coverage, ensuring that you wouldn't get sort of a shadowing effect from your dish load, and we believe what's most important was how that's going to translate to the end customer. Again, 21 nozzles compared to 10 uh, affords a lot more opportunity to help the end user not have issues where they have too much crowding of the dish load. You'll notice that the majority of the nozzles are located on sort of these winglets or outer half of the uh, spray arm. And we do that for a very particular reason. One, uh, this does allow us to reach into the corners as best we can. As you look at where you have the heaviest concentration, this is what we refer to as sort of the donut or the majority of your food soils lying on that 80% along that same path of flight that this arm takes in that lower spray arm. I'd want the end consumer to know that with respect to Whirlpool brand dishwashers, uh, we perform over 2,600 cycles or 10 years of life expectancy equivalent with all new products. And uh, with that, we often take products beyond life for our own understanding of what is expected to fail, when it would fail, how does it fail. Uh, that rigor never seems to stop. For all new products that I've been associated with, that seems to be uh, the norm that's carried on through.